What is up, guys? This is a game called Cosmic Break. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with this. I certainly enjoy it, so let's go right ahead. Okay. To the newbies. Okay. This game, how do you explain it? Is a uh, first person f slash fantasy sci fi shooter sort of thing. You'll understand what in a tad of Japanese anime. So let's just get right in. Um, well, first, there are three main guilds almost. There's um, Leo, there's Wiz, and there's Dos. Don't know why it's called Bird. Bird. Anyway. Leo, Wiz, and Dos. Leo, Wiz, Dos. I know Leo, Wiz, and Dostrix. We'll just name it that. Okay. And those two are in a fight. I am with Dostrix on this account. And at the start of the game, you're given characteristics. And most people are in Wiz. A lot and a lot of. And about. Then the biggest is Wiz, then Leo, then Dos. So let's just jump right in. Oh, and as you can see over there, I had 407 hours of gameplay. So I've had this game for quite a while. I wouldn't say I'm a professional because I suck. But let's get right in. Oh, and I'll be doing arena matches and such. But I'll get into them later. Loading, 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 loading. Loading, loading, loading. Why is my mouse getting strapped to the center of the screen? Ah, here we go. Okay, firstly, the controls are WASD. Okay, to move, as you would in most games. Space to jump, and if you hold it, you fly. Then shift is... Okay, then you've got left click and right click. Left click is normally your main, main weapon, which is normally a gun. And then right click is normally a sword or an axe or something. Okay. So. And the, oh, and then if you have more than one of each, you shift click. Easy. Okay. Ooh, I received a friendship. I'm friends with a few people, not many. Um, okay. The. The tabs here, I entered this by pressing F1. The tabs here are robots. Now you can have, you have a main garage and a sub garage. Your main garage are the robots you can put in your commando, which are the ones you take into battle. You can have six commandos, which is just six layouts. Okay, then you have your sub garage, which is all your extra robots that you don't really need. It's just really collector's items. Oh, and you can sort them by their cost or something. I already have mine sorted out. So, yep. Ooh, cool. Um, then you can create new robots with parts. So, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, the parts are, you have the body, the legs. Oh, and the body can sometimes come with other bits. Like, if I was to go to this robot customize it okay all the bits are locked in which means if I was to destroy it then remake if I was to junk it here I'll show you junk it and then I would go to my create new robot then where is it Hellingal that's the name of it see all the parts are there whereas normally if I was to create a new robot it would just be the body like that just remove that because you don't want those clogging up your inventory. Um, you've got the body, the legs, which are obviously what make a move. And each body has a cost, cost capacity. So this one has, I don't know, capacity 510, although it takes up 240 by itself. And it has 145 HP strength. For, that's just the body. But it comes with a hand shot weapon and the way you tell if it's got a built in weapon of some sort is if it's blue you see the outline of it's blue that's not the outline of that's not blue so it doesn't have any but this is then you've got the head 
Which, if you look at all the stats, is quite impressive. Some of them are quite impressive, some of them aren't. Um, as you can see, these ha these are arms, but they've got built-in weapons. Sometimes arms can't have weapons attached to them, they're weapons themselves. Boosters, this is what you let you fly. Sometimes they have mortars or something. Or ground-to-air missiles, accessories. Um, these are just small little things to make it look different, like um, this one. If you look, that's actually a, like a version of Naruto. And if you put glasses on, it slightly increases stats. But mainly it's just for looks. Then you have... Okay, you won't start off with this many things. You start off and you gain and gain and gain. Look like... All these weapons. So, let's see, there's Christmas things and wedding bouquets and all these swords. Um, okay. So, the way you tell what it. Okay. Now, if you look here, there's the name Micro Bazooka. There's a little definition, but then you've got this. This is the robots it supports, so that means it can only go on those ro types of robots, art and support. <coughs> Each robot has a type. There's five types that I know of. Air, then there's land, um, art. These all stand for air, land, artillery, um, then there's support, or sup, and then there's the rare zero. Okay. So that you can only go on certain ones. But don't worry about the zero for now. Then you have slots. You can upgrade those using... Or well, not those. Um, let me... Yeah. You can use, upgrade those using these. These are mats, okay, materials, mats, and you, there's a certain cent chance and you need certain things and they just slightly upgrade it, but if you go to sell it at a bazaar, they're quite expensive. Okay, then you have the swords, or other things, and we'll go into these, cost, then what they add, so this will take away some of your walk, which will slow you down a bit. Cost will, yeah, that's how much cost you have. Force, 24, that's how much damage it does. Range is 22, f speed, 41. Int, I don't know what that stands for. But then you've got speed, yeah, as you can tell, there's a huge difference. Then you've got these, which are bits. These bits, um, you can call them in a battle by pressing F once you've done enough of something or other, I don't know. Um... It'll start glowing down here. Once it fills up, you press F, it comes out. Now, if we go into a robot, you can either have these, the ones that come with it, and they're default and they're infinite, or you can use these, the bits that you found, which are better, but they're not infinite. You use them over time. Okay, then you've got all these tickets that let you get more things. Say, here, let me just get a drink. The item drop rate from enemies will increase for th by 30%. Um, and it lasts for an hour. And then you've got things like these voices, which let you call out in battle, and discs, which we use them. I'm not very good at them. Um, you have the dispatch points. You may choose robots then dispatch them and they'll go off do a mission and if you do it you might get some items and dispatch points and whatnot. Then you've got these there are normally these are for sale at bazaars and you'll hear more about them later in bazaars and yeah I'll show you them later. But then you've got others which are from see here white day then um chocolate oh and for you that don't know what um valentine's day is when girls give stuff to boys in japan and white day is when boys give back so yeah 
Oh, and then you've got Angel Coins, which are a new currency around now, and Cosmic Star Coins. And you've got, which you get from buying RT Robots. RT is like the money currency of a game. Oh, time's about to change over. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. What? Um, and for you that are wondering, no, I do not. I am not up at 12. It is currently 6. I am in Australia. You. Um, yep, there's UC and RT. RT is the paid money sort of thing. And then there's UC, which, um, yeah, you pay real money for RT sometimes. And UC is what you get for winning in the arena. Then you've got this. Okay, my player name is Black Sea. Please don't spam me. Um, my union DOS BR. That's because I spam shit. <laughs> don't worry about the BR level. I don't quite understand it. Uh, Crimson Wing. I'm a clan leader. Don't try and join. And I'm not currently looking for members. I've got a few friends on it. But, yep. Okay. It's, oh, and then you can have missions to do from them at the start of the game. But let's get into it. Okay. Firstly, there's m two sorts of robots, really. There's humanoids and then there's non-humanoids. So I'll show you how a humanoid and non-humanoid are different. Normally, the humanoids, um, their hands and body parts cannot be replaced. Some of them, their feet or their, their feet or their boosters or something can be replaced but normally not Th this one's special with its weapons oh we'll go this one because this might be one of the starting robots you have so its boosters are locked in place its arms aren't and its head is so that means you can take its arm off, arms off but not its uh, boosters or head then um, that one's called Crimrose. You you can at the start choose six or three robots. It always changes, giving newbies the upper hand, and giving them rare robots and start such not rare but expensive. Screwed the game. So you might start off with Crimrose or one of your robots is Crimrose. This is my original Crimrose. Yeah, some pretty big um, Vulcans on that. Yeah, a compact Gatling gun. And then you Vulcan. And Beam Shooter mod. So that's a pretty high level robot. But that's... I haven't... Yeah, it's pretty high level. And then you've got another one. I kind of collect these. Like, that's a summer version. And that's a normal version. But anyway. And... Yeah, and I've been around as I have some of the... Ooh promos and such such as Haruka-chan no you cannot buy anything off me actually you can probably but let's go around as my tank my tank of justice and let me show you all around the world actually no this is gonna be pretty pathetic um oh and press tab and that's a map yep good to know uh, let me just, oh, press, there's hotkeys, I always tend to press the hotkeys, um, without even looking at them, because I've been playing for ages and I'm a boss. Um, okay, then you can go into the shop, so I just showed you the garage, now the shop. Um, currently, there's a special, there's Garapon, yeah, whatever. Okay, so, robots, let's go in here. Now, there's going to be a long list of robots. Yeah. So you want to sort them. So you can have, if you're looking for land types, land, air, artillery, support. But you might be looking for a size. So let's go small support types. And what the hell is this? Oh, God. Um, yep. So you might see a robot and it's like, oh, I want to buy that. So what's a robot I might want to buy? Oh, God. Huh. Dancer. Um, I'll find something I want to buy. I'll find something. No, I don't really want to buy anything. 
But say you wanted to buy this, you'd put it in here and you'd press buy and it'd be like, 